Hi, my name is Arnon Roseanne, and I'm President and CEO of Garrison Flood Control. Today, I'd like to talk to you about our Stingray Self-Rising Water Dam. What's unique about our rising water dam system is that it actually deploys flat, so you don't need any water or sand in order to deploy an effective system. While the system is deployed flat, you can actually walk on it, drive on it, and, and really leave it in position until it's needed for a flood. When a flood comes and the water level rises, the Stingray Water Dam will actually open up as it's a clamshell design. The water will fill the chambers and allow the system to continue to rise as the water rises. The Stingray Water Dam is a high quality product. And what do I mean by that? It's made out of a durable reinforced PVC material that's UV protected to stand up against sun damage. And you'll notice the heavy stitching around the, the pulled straps, as well as the heavy welding of the internal chambers. This provides it additional strength and enables it to handle the hydrostatic pressures that, that occur as you get a flow of water entering the system. Stitched into each Stingray clamshell is both a foam strip on the top side and a weighted ballast on the downside. The bottom of this is actually laid down on the ground and the ballast holds it down until the water enters the system. The foam allows the system to rise as the water comes in and enters the clamshell. Now, if you'll notice, in between the chambers, there's actually a hole. And that hole allows you to have water flow between the chambers so that you're not building up too much pressure in any individual chamber. Another nice feature of the Stingray is that sections can be Velcroed to each other. There's a male and female Velcro in every section, which allows you to do a continuous run. Now you're actually able to store these sections in a continuous run rolled up. You can bring it out on a pallet and roll out 100 feet, 200 feet as needed. Another nice feature of Stingray is that we have a series of handling straps. Now these straps are positioned every several feet along the top of the clamshell and allow you to pull it and drag it into position and position it either up along a wall or somewhere on your ground surface. The Stingray water barrier, in addition to the Velcro, has a series of buckles that enable you to connect sections to each other tightly and leave it permanently connected. Now these are simply added reinforcements that go beyond the Velcro and prevent sections from pulling apart under heavy pressure or water flows. If you look on the back side of every Stingray, you'll notice a series of grommets. Now these are designed to allow you to stake the barrier into a soft ground or tie or strap it somewhere. So for example, if you're climbing up a wall, you can use this to strap the barrier somewhere higher and support it until the water enters, provides the ballast, and it starts offering you the protection you need. Now, where can Stingray be used? The ideal scenario for using Stingray would be to create a perimeter around a structure. What's an interesting feature of Stingray is because it's flexible, it can handle ground variation. What do I mean by that? If you're moving from a driveway to a lawn, to gravel, to sand, or varying surfaces, the system will enable you to, to make that transition without allowing too much leakage to enter. Another great application of Stingray is to stop a small creek or small river from flowing. You can actually span it, and as it enters the water, and this starts going to the ground because of its heavy weights, the system will open and begin to stop that water flow. This is ideal in scenarios where you need to divert water from heading down or overflowing into a neighborhood or potentially to stop water from going down your driveway and entering low ground in your driveway. What I have here is the Stingray outside curve corner piece. This is a really interesting piece because what it does is enables you to make a 90 degree turn around a structure. So if you're doing a perimeter of a building, you have a run of Stingray on one side, a run of Stingray on the other, and you can connect these two to prevent the leak at the corner and provide a 90 degree turn and perimeter around your entire property. Here we have sections connected, corner section and a straight run 
both 20 inches. As you can see, we've already Velcroed the bottom section together, and this creates a watertight seal between the two sections. We've also Velcroed the top section, but if you notice, there's something a little different about this top section. We've got the Velcro at the top, but we also have the Velcro at the bottom. Now, the reason we do this is because as this water rises, this section, the upper portion of the clamshell, is subjected to higher hydrostatic pressures, and we want to make sure that the sections don't blow apart under that pressure. So here we have the corner piece. You can see how the sections rise. There we have the space between the chambers that allows water to flow through. Here is our floating strip of foam, and here's our ballast that begins the process of connecting this to the ground until the water starts to rise. In addition to straight runs that run along the ground, you're actually able to run up a wall. And now you can use your grommets, the strap here, the straps on the back side, in order to connect it or tie it to the wall above. But the key is that if you've got an area, let's say that's bordered by two walls, you can run a section up the wall down across the opening and up the other side in order to create a tighter seal and better protection.